at MGH as in any other Harvard affiliated hospital, you know, all the research money, including my own salary, the salary of people in my lab, is coming from uh, grants. So that means that the external funding is critical. And if we don't have uh, um, basically enough external funding, we can run a lab and we can do any work. My name is uh, Giuseppina Tesco and uh, I am an assistant professor uh, of neurology uh, in the Genetics and Aging Research Unit, uh, which is part of the um, Mass General Institute for Neurodegenerative Disease. Mm -hmm. um, that we're running to compare the GJ3 and the base levels yeah, in these yeah. mice. These are the heterozygous and these are our wild type controls. I really believe that to uh, achieve um, uh, big results and uh, to, to make important discovery, it takes the effort of a team. This is uh, Kendall Walker. Uh, she is a postdoc working in my lab and she is in charge of the a mouse project, TBI project, and uh, here we have our um, GJ3 um, knockout mice, and uh, they are in the little house right now, and this is a very important model for us to study how GJ3 regulates uh, base level after injury. And, and then uh, Andrew Cameron, he's been uh, involved in uh, also in the um, TBI work and is also doing uh, behavioral analysis of mice after injury and, the, and is um, um, involved in also in um, in vitro study uh, looking more details in the molecular mechanism how GJ3 um, regulates uh, base and then another part of the team is um, Eugene Kang and uh, he is our expert in uh, mutagenesis and is also doing a tremendous job uh, even in the sequencing of uh, DNA from uh, AD patients looking for uh, genetic variation. So that's a great team and um, I'm very uh, lucky to have them. The Cure Alzheimer Fund has been very helpful in um, uh, supporting a recent work that um, we published last, uh, last summer in Neuron. Um, and these guys are very important to us because we're using these in studies of traumatic brain injury and how that predisposes people to Alzheimer's disease. Um, so if we know the chain of the event, uh, linking acute brain injury like stroke and head trauma, we can think about specific therapy to uh, treat people with this acute brain injury before the development of, of Alzheimer's disease. So in neurodegenerative degenerative disease like Alzheimer, which are late onset, what is really important is that we need to start to treat people at risk early before the neurons are damaged. Now, we're just getting, this is MCTAG, so it's completely what we expected. Yes, so yes, I can see, very nice. With the 22, it's high, mm -hmm. then you introduce G3. Um, we can envision that people that they come in in the hospital because they had an injury, they, they're going to be treated immediately with anti, I mean, anti-Alzheimer's disease drugs. Whatever prevents the increase in uh, a beta production. In these days, I think that uh, the support of the Cure Alzheimer Fund is essential for research. And the reason is because everybody is, is um, experiencing a cut in the budget. Getting funding, for example, from agency like NIH is getting very difficult. So the support of um, Cure Alzheimer Fund is it's important for us to keep going with our research in a very difficult time to get funding from uh, 
example, for example, for a government agency. So I think that um, I'm, yeah, I'm glad that Curial Summer Fund is doing this tremendous job to support our research.